This is unbelievable. This is absolutely unbelievable. Yes, you'll go to two to three. Okay. Huh? You know, you watch Wicked Tuna and they catch the fish. You don't see much afterwards. You see them dragging the fish. So we're gonna show you really quick in this video, after you catch a bluefin, what you're supposed to do. And by the way, I don't know, cause as always, I'm the dummy on the boat. But the magician is here, Mr. Doug Gray from Killer Bee Customs. Hopefully you've watched his other videos cause his Killer Bee Custom rod and reel just hooked us up. With that tuna. With that being said, what are we doing right now, Doug, and why are we doing it? Like in terms of dragging this tuna, this bluefin. First, first, I just want to say all the hard work paid off. It did pay off, boy. The, the ride building, the boat getting the boat ready, the rigging the baits, getting everybody together, getting favorable weather. We came out here, we got Woo! the job done. It's good. So what we're doing is we, we caught this fish, we get him close to the boat, we hit him with a harpoon, just to help secure the fish, a couple gaffs in his tail, and we got two tail ropes on the fish. As we secure the fish to the back of the boat, we do a tail cut to slowly bleed the fish out. We want this fish to bleed out slowly. It'll give you the, so best, the why, best quality meat. Why did we cut the tail? Because Professor cut the tail early, like right when we hung it up yeah. on the boat. Why we was wanna, that? We want to get that, while that fish is still alive and still pumping blood, we want that blood to slowly pump out of those arteries in the tail section. Ah, okay. Because okay. we want that fish to die as slowly as possible. Because we're dragging it backwards, he's not got getting oxygenated now. Yes. So this fish is very lethargic. It's and, and we're gonna drag him towards some colder water to cool the fish down. Okay. Because they, they generate heat when they're fighting. So by cooling that fish down slowly and getting this temperature down, that will give you the best quality meat. Awesome. So hopefully we okay. get a real good number. So that's gonna affect our price we get from the buyer yes because if we do not do what we're doing right now the meat could as they say on the show i guess get burned burned right right, right. yeah that's why you cool them down because they those muscles it's all red muscle in a in a tuna and that right. muscle gets really red hot. sushi meat uh, uh, really hot uh. as because they fight so hard so she did fight hard we are gonna so we're gonna drag it how long we're gonna drag it about an hour so we're gonna drag it about an hour. And then we're gonna to try to figure out how to get it in the boat. <laughs> and that'll be fun too. Our first time getting the fish in the boat. We are over the moon. The professor's on the radio, bragging to all the Wicked Tuna staff that we just caught. Cause we feel great. Life is great. Fishing is great. You're great. That's all we got for now. University, we are taking you through the process of when you catch a bluefin tuna and the different stages. And it's so fun when you got a tuna it on a back professor, isn't it? So here's what we've done. We've caught the tuna. That was the toughest part. Then we have drugged the tuna in the cool water yep. for about an hour. About an hour. All right, about an hour, professor. And now we're going to, for the first time ever, bring the tuna into the boat. I've watched this on the show once again. We've all watched the show. 
But now we get to do it. Anything we need to think about here? We gotta make sure we don't lose that fish. I mean, he spent all this hard work getting it, but he's gotta be super, yeah. super careful. We lose this fish, it's not gonna make it on camera. I'm telling you right now, Jack. And we're hoping it's gonna fit through that right door. All right, so let's see if it fits through this door. Game time, let's bring the fish in, measure it, see it, take some photos with it. Woo -hoo. It's heavy, too. Yeah, you can do it. Good job. Let's go. Got it? All right, so Professor, what do we what do we do just now? Because we took we took the rope from the tail and we well, moved it. Well, we still have the tail rope on, just right? To secure the fish. But we put a rope up through its gills and out of its mouth. So now we're going to use that to pull him head first into the door. Head first. Here she comes into the door in just a second. All right. All right, studs. Let's go, studs. Come on, Trent, put that butt into it. Ain't gonna work. All right, so that didn't go as planned. The fish is a lot heavier than we thought. <laughs> so I was prepared for that. Got a block and tackle we're gonna try to use. All right, so what's this block and tackle that. called? A block and tackle. A block and tackle, okay. All right, we're gonna try to use this block and tackle to gain a mechanical advantage. All right. Let's see if we can use that. Give us a little bit more leverage, I guess. That's right. Life's about leverage, people. All about leverage. Y'all see that smile on that man's face? He's getting ready to pray him. I'm happy. Giant tuna in his boat for the first time. All right, guys, a million people are gonna watch this eventually. Get right below the loop. Or you can get in him, I guess. Train. Uh, Push it down. Right, there you go. There you go. Professor's over here pulling. Pretty work, Professor. Look at them arms. Let's go, fish. Can we get it through the door? Cody door. Cold it door. Oh, well. Got it. It's tight. Got it. You got it. You got it. There got she him. goes. We got him. Woo! Holy cow, look how round he is. What a bottle of freaking ball. That, sir. He's growing, baby. He's, He's a still butter growing. ball. Wow. That is a butter ball. Ron, did he get bigger, Ron? He got bigger. So, real quick, Professor. Quick takeaways on that first time. Hey, I'm speechless. <laughs> we are speechless. Your your pulley system worked. It did. Oh, uh, we wouldn't have been able to do it without it. Yeah, wouldn't have been able to do it. We're gonna put. Um, let's. Uh, while we're still recording this video, let's put. A measurement on the fish. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I see know. what the first tuna on. Speechless. There you go. Holy fat mama! Woo! Round. You got it. What a fatty cake! Wow. All right, measurement time. All right, hey, we gotta take some guesses, everybody. Everybody's gotta guess. Everybody's gotta guess. What do you think it is? You got your guess? Are right, you guess? Now, magician Doug, what do you say? Length? Yes, sir. 100 inches. All right, he's saying 100 inches. You don't got fat and longer on us. Trent. 105. Trent says 105. He's really aggressive. Professor. 96. 96. Vito, what say you behind the camera? <laughs> 94, I say 94. 94 <laughs> says Vita, the Tongan. And I am gonna come out with the, the right one. 101, baby, 101. That's gonna be it, here we go. My 